What? Oh, come. Wait a minute. Internet use a lie. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Oh, no. If she turned into Leonardo. What? Oh, use a lie. Oh, so fabulous. <laughs> Hi guys welcome back to the channel once again it's your girl do maybe leah if this is your first time coming across my channel you're welcome i do hope you decide to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber you guys know that i love you it's so good to have you here welcome back so before we proceed as usual my disclaimer this video is strictly for educational purposes please do not go searching out the people that i talk about in this video don't send them any form of hate, hate comment, threats, or violence. This channel does not support any of that. So today's video is something that I came across and <laughs> this video has gone viral. Several platforms have posted it. So um, it was basically a video made by an Asian woman and she's been accused of doing blackface. So let me just go right ahead and play the video. This TikToker has faced serious backlash after transforming into Kobe Bryant. She claims she was simply paying tribute to the late NBA star, however many fans are outraged. The TikToker is seen in other videos morphing into many familiar faces. Should she be allowed to keep this video up though? So watching that video, you can tell that that was a makeup artist doing what makeup artists do. If an incredibly talented one, I must say. She actually did that makeup a while ago because I saw several posts of it and I think the oldest post I saw was from late last year. It also got reposted this year. I think it just resurfaced and sparked a new type of outrage again and people have been talking about it. There's been this discussion about, okay, is this offensive? Is it blackface or is it just art? And was it done out of respect? So there's been that whole argument and you know what, I'm just going to go right ahead and play some videos by people who had something to say about it. Coming into Kobe Bryant. You guys have to learn the difference between intention and impact. This may have intended to be homage to Kobe. Mind you, it looks nothing like him. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. But the impact was different because this is literally blackface. So like, just don't do it. They're transforming into Kobe Bryant. Hi, my fellow TikTokers. I've said it once on this app before and I'll keep saying it. I did not see not one white person or one black person pissed off when the Wayne's brothers dressed up as white chicks for a whole ass movie. I did not see not one white person, one Chinese person, one black person get mad when Eddie Murphy dressed up as a Japanese or Chinese person for Norbit, okay? What is the deal with black people being able to go into whatever race they need to for a role, but an artist, a makeup artist, can't go into whatever race she wants to for a role, essentially? Make it make sense. Y'all are fucking impressed for no damn reason. Y'all just want something to bitch about. Keep bitching. Like, quit trying to ruin people's lives because you're fucking you're upset about something that happened before you were even born. Curious backlash after transforming into Kobe Bryant. I think she did do an amazing job. And I think we should keep the same energy for the black people who do cosplay and goth and everything else. I think everyone should have the same energy that you had towards us too when we, when we want to dress up and play costume, I guess. Into Kobe Bryant. Oh, this is technically blackface, right? And it's a like it's a art piece. Like if she would have painted that on a canvas, people wouldn't have no problem with it. But it's on her own skin, and it's not like she's doing it to make a joke. She's doing it for art's sake. People's racial integrity is kind of different. Art is subjective, and so is, you know, a lot of things in life. But playing with uh, me personally, I don't like it. It doesn't mean that other people can't look at it and be like, oh, yeah, that's it's just art. Me personally, once again, art, there's art and there's like crossing the line because she knew that she was doing something risky, but she thought, hey, if I explain it, it might be fine. And then there's people who might see that and be like, 
oh, okay, as long as I, I say it's artistic or I'm just showing tribute, they, they'll be okay with it. Because there, there's people who tried to do like a black cosplay before and things like that. Um, like the a white girl who tried to do a, a Lifeline cosplay. And if you don't know, Lifeline is a black character from a video game. And she got so much backlash for it. I feel like we should just try to show tribute, but stay away from changing your skin color. Like if you dress like the character, that's fine. And the thing about the Kobe Bryant, he's not a character. If she wanted to show tribute, she could have did it in a different way, like paint an actual painting, like do a portrait or sculpt a, a mannequin's face instead of her own. There's options, you feel me? Yeah, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Should she be allowed to keep this video up, though? Yes, she should. That's right, she should. She did such an amazing, spectacular job. And whoever is getting mad, she stay mad. Art is art, and I said what I said. So if you disagree, go argue with your ancestors. Yeah, the Here's a polite question to all the black community, and I want to know you guys' honest answers. Will you guys get upset regardless of the reasons when people paint their face black, or you will only get upset when they're doing this out of racism or modicure? In this scenario, this makeup artist is doing an impersonation of um, uh, Kobe Bryant, who has a lot of fans in China, and this makeup artist is Chinese as well. Um, so I'm just curious about your opinion. Because of cultural appropriation has been widely discussed these years, and I feel like sometimes we don't really have a safe environment to talk about it. And I feel sad about it. Face paint is always highly controversial, but if a person is trying to show the beauty of black community, and they themselves are good looking people, and they did it in the right way, will you guys be upset? as well or you think that is acceptable only those modicure or weird representations would be considered as cultural appropriation and would be condemned kobe bryant you know all these people who are getting so upset about all these things you know if we could just create like a ministry of proper action thought and speech and then before any of us do anything we could submit a request to do something, say something, or think something, and then you could approve it or deny it. It would just be so much fucking easier. I'm getting so sick and tired of all this backlash and cancel culture stuff. I think that's the way to go. Kobe Bryant. Okay, I feel like she should, just my personal belief, you know, my feelings are just my feelings, but I feel like old girl should be able to keep her content up, and this is why. She her entire platform is her changing her face to look like other celebrities that's her entire content okay she did an actual representation of a person of color in her artistic form what she's already known for doing and put it up on her page the same way she does every other person she's not doing anything new she ain't doing this shit just for halloween she's not doing this shit just for laughs to be disrespectful anything she did what she normally does and she just created what she already normally creates and did an amazing representation okay she just didn't take dark brown paint and slap it on her face and be like oh i'm kobe bryant no she was being an artist and she was representing her artistry beautifully I'm not sure how I feel about this. I mean, that's black face. And then there's becoming a black person. How the f*** did she go from a Asian woman to Kobe Bryant? Listen, listen, listen. Robert Downey Jr. was the only person I thought could do that shit. And your ass turned into Kobe? Listen, if you were to go get a basketball and dunk that shit... I would honestly believe you was Kobe and thought probably Kobe was still alive. What if Kobe was always secretly an Asian woman? Huh. Maybe they don't want us to know. Think about it, my brother. Stay woke. That's some shit to this. See, every lie has a little bit of truth in it, which means secretly, what if Magic Johnson is just a short white woman? We don't know. What if Shaq is like four dudes standing on top of each other's shoulders? Think about it.
we could be on to a conspiracy and they want to make us believe brothers and sisters that we are crazy i'm telling you there's something to this shit i might sound crazy but i don't think i am so now being a black person you guys i'm kind of conflicted i'm on the sideline i'm also a makeup artist so i know how much work goes into that and you see that woman let's not even take it from her she's very talented because that's basically what that woman does that makeup artist i've seen several videos of her transforming into different people of different races so now she has transformed into kobe bryant who is a black man god rest his soul he and his daughter it was so tragic when they passed so now it's a black person and of course black people have been invited into the conversation automatically and a lot of black people are not happy about it but on the other hand there are black people that are like it's art she did it with respect she didn't do it to mock him and they don't see anything wrong with it so i think i'm going to allow you guys form your opinions because I'm so sorry my camera stopped recording in the middle of the video so let me just continue now I think the situation is dicey because okay let's start from like what blackface actually is when I researched what blackface is I basically found out that it was offensive for two reasons that I can pinpoint please if I'm wrong let me know in the comment section I really do want to learn but from what I understand blackface originated back in the day and it was offensive because number one they actually make these images as a caricature of black people you know exaggerated red lips with the extremely black face making black people look ugly and basically making them act stupid when whenever whoever it is wears that costume they begin to act like a buffoon and making black people look ugly specifically because i mean <laughs> have you seen black people we are gorgeous so I can understand why that is offensive, number one. The second reason why blackface was offensive, to the best of my knowledge, is that they were using it to also underrepresent black people. So in those days when they had a role for a black person, they wanted an actor to depict a black person. Instead of them to get a real black person, they'd get a white person who's going to now paint themselves to look like that and act the role of a black person, of course, and act very stupid as well which is offensive so those are the two reasons i know that blackface are very offensive so now if we're going to apply it to this scenario this woman doing what she did i don't think she made a caricature of kobe she didn't and then i don't think she did it to underrepresent black people or to take any benefits that could have been gotten you know like to claim it as her own being that she's not black so i don't really see how she would have benefited from that at the expense of black people so that is what i mean because for us to get offended or not offended we have to basically analyze the intention behind it and then the execution so the intention behind it was good you know she's expressing her art and she's honoring kobe bryant and then the execution involved her painting herself black so that is where a lot of people are like mm -mm. if you wanted to really honor him you could have just done a painting you could have used a mannequin you didn't have to make yourself into a black person so people don't like that so there's just been the whole debate is it blackface is it not blackface should black people get offended should black people not get offended so now this brings me to the question that i saw come up a lot in the comment section and in some videos as well could it be said that black people are doing too much like are we getting offended too often by too many things like do people of other races basically need to walk on eggshells around us because they don't know what they're going to do that they're going to get cancelled for you know maybe some things that they say or even something like this because i've actually seen statements like this in the comment section of my videos where people say that we are gatekeeping too much we are taking offense too much by things that we should not really be bothered about we should just focus on living and let live we should pick our battles because there are definitely some things we need to combat and speak up about but it's not every single thing some things are not that harmful to us as a people for us to come out right with the outrage and cancel culture and all of that so do you guys think black people are doing too much in terms of you know being outraged by some of these things that are just happening in the world that we find offensive do you think we should give people a little more grace but the issue with this particular video today is if we black people say it's okay it's just art she was honoring him she didn't make a caricature of him or whatever if we let this go 
and like the black community generally feels like okay that's not offensive what's gonna happen later because there's definitely going to be that tendency of someone else doing blackface and coming to tell us it's art do you guys see where i'm going i really want to know what you think in the comment section about the situation are you offended by what that makeup artist did do you think it's blackface or do you think it's just art and then do you think that black people are getting too offended by everything or do you think we even need to cancel people more you guys please let me know what you think in the comment section thank you for watching i'd like to end the video here um please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye